What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Sanctus Reach. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we take over everybody's favorite Mary Sue's, the Mutant Space Wolves, and attempt to run a bunch of orcs off the planet. See, I'm an orcs player, so I've got to be a little bit nitpicky about the way that I go forward here. I, I like the orcs a little bit better, there's just something fun about the orcs. They're just, they're party dudes, that's what it comes down to, they're like Michelangelo. They're like Michelangelo, they're party dudes, but we in the last episode had attempted to summon a Dreadnought. I didn't know how to get it out of its protective casing though, so it didn't work out so great. Little bit confused there, maybe I was supposed to get there a little quicker. I don't know. I took my time on entry and didn't get to use my Dreadnought, so eh, we'll figure it out next time. Battle report. 600 points. So we managed to kill, I guess, 12 infantry? Eh. Sounds good to me. Nobody got eliminated from my side, so I don't care. We've got a couple of different options here. We've got a skirmish in the acid woods. We've got a skirmish. I mean, they're all acid woods, actually. So I wonder if the maps are different. Let's keep the coast on one side, I guess, because, I mean, I feel like tact... Actually, no, let's take this one, and then we'll work our way this way, just kind of zigzagging all the way, because I want to have a unified front behind us. Otherwise, I feel like bad shit is going to happen. So we'll go with this one right here first. I don't think doing this in a timely fashion is part of my objectives anyway, so we'll just get her done. Space Wolves hold positions in the west. The orcs will attack from the east. The objective is for both sides to control the most VPs when the turn limit runs out. Okay, sounds about right. Holy shit. So it looks like you can actually get rid of him. So if I've got the flamer pack, I can't help but feel like like we've got a lot of things here, and in a lot of cases, just generic bolter units would be a little bit more cost effective. Like for example, I don't see us needing a melta gun pack. I just don't see that being the case. I don't think we need melta guns right now unless they're going to be hitting us with war trucks or whatever. Although we do have a rhino over here, so it's possible. Okay, it's definitely possible that if we've got rhinos here that they might be coming in with vehicles to a rhino. I don't think it's actually going to let me select, though. I don't think I get to pick until a little bit later. Unless there's a way... Oh, that's actually like the full array of what I can bring in with me. That's like my entire chapter. Gotcha. I understand now. So we're picking what we want as far as it goes. Okay, I understand the way it works now. Cool. This was also not covered in the tutorial, so this is like a new thing for me. I would say... What do we have here? Blood claws are nice. So I would take two things of blood claws, which I will deploy in various areas. Uh, the Rhino Transport has 80 armor, 240 health, power, piercing, accuracy. Gets three shots from its Storm Bolter. It's probably expensive, though, right? Bonus is I can load people inside of that, and I'd be able to move them around the battlefield a little bit quicker. I will take a Bolter Pack. And actually, which of these Blood Claws? Okay, so that one hasn't seen any combat yet. There's another Blood Claw pack down here that I'll take. What are his abilities? He's got a Potent Force Field Generator. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if I like that better than... Ooh, wow, that's really, really good. Okay, so we'll bring Eggle Red Fist along with us for this one. That's got us down to almost 1,000 points. I, a Wolf Priest Furlag. Oh, really? We've got a Psyker with us. What does our Psyker do? He inspires courage and heals wounds in an area around him. All units within two tiles gain 50 morale, and every man in the squad gets 50 HP. He's also got a Healing Balm, a Fenrisian Healing Solution. Every man in the unit gains 50 Wolf Amulet, so he's got the Rosarius as well. We'll bring both of them, just because I'm a sucker for Psykers. We have two Bolters down here. I will take both of them. Swift Claws. Those are going to be dudes on... Bikes, as far as I know? Yeah, those are guys on bikes. Probably good... Probably good for knocking over objectives. F 
flamer pack is kind of a, a gimme. We definitely need that. Melted gun packs. Where are they positioned at? I'll get one melted gun pack just in case. Another bolter pack. That leaves me with 140. Give me... Oh, I don't have enough for a swift claw. I was going to say I was going to take a swift claw. Oh, wow, that Psyker is super expensive, but he is good, and he heals people. So maybe instead of him, we'll get rid of Eggle Red Fist. We'll take the Psyker as our main leader. And then with the 260 we have left, I mean, we can get the Rhino Transport, which would be pretty raw. Or we could take another Blood Claw pack. We'll have 100 left over if we take one of them, so that would basically relegate us to a Blood Claw pack, yeah. I don't see anything else that... Oh, it's Blood Claw Pack Cracker. Them crackers on my back. All right, so uh, I'm going to take... The numbers just aren't adding up for me right now. I will take a Swift Claw just to see what happens there because I think it's kind of an interesting thing to play around with. And I suppose we'll take a Blood Claw down here on this side. I do wish that we had more Bolter units. I'm a little bummed out about that. I would prefer to have more Bolter packs, but... It is what it is, so we're actually able to deploy right now. Let's go ahead and we'll start. So the first major issue, you're in deploy mode. Oh, good. Okay, so drag and drop. Yeah, deploy them on the VP. Most VPs at the end of the game wins. We've got eight turns of just slugging it out with each other. So as far as his deployment goes... I want him like in the thick of shit, like I want him right in the middle. With regards to our flamer packs, let's start with our bolter pack. So bolter pack number one, you deploy there. Didn't I have another... I thought I had another blood claw pack over there. Either way, we will deploy you guys right there. We have blood claw packs here. Put them up in the front. Where can I deploy them at? Like, wherever the hell I want? Yeah, then just go for it. We've got a Swift Claw Squadron. Don't know how they're going to help me out. I haven't actually used them in combat yet. Got another Bolter Pack right there. A little bit unenamored. I suppose I'll put them right there. Let's just make a good defensive line, I guess, to protect ourselves. melt a gun pack will keep you in reserve until shit gets real. Keep another melee pack over there. And I'm pretty happy with the deployment scheme so far. Actually, let's, let's bring them back over, and they'll kind of be the Psyker's main vanguard, because they're going to get chewed on pretty hard as they go into combat, because they are built for melee. I'm pretty happy with it. So the enemies are going to act first. Let's be sure we've got a rough idea of what they've got going on. We are holding all of the VPs right now, as far as I know. So that means the onus is on the enemy to really lose this game so far. I'm going to move them up to here now that I know they're coming from that side. Have you guys on flamer duty. If they try to rush that point, I want you to protect them with whatever you've got. In addition... Oh, I really wish I could get somebody into like a nicer position right there. We do have this back door going on over here too, which kind of concerns me. And I didn't deploy anybody to watch that, so maybe we'll send one of the Swift Claws, or I'm sorry, the Blood Claws over there to handle it. Oh, they've got a Psyker. They've got Rust Gob. Okay, I didn't expect them to have a Psyker. That's problematic. Um, I had foolhardily expected that most of the attack would come from this direction. So let's start redirecting people for now. There's really no indication that anything's even coming from that direction for right now. And if there is, we'll have a pretty strong force right here to sort of run them off. Put the Psyker back in there. Librarian, I guess, would be a better term for him. 
We'll move them up. Nope. You guys set your reaction arc. That way. You guys move to there. Set your reaction arc there. You gents. Yeah, so badass. At the motorcycle. Potato, 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 potato. Alright, so everybody should be on Overwatch doing their thing. We got another bolter pack over here. You know, I would be tempted in this situation just to leave them kind of out of cover. Actually, it's too late now. We'll set the reaction arc there. That reaction arc is a little bit dangerous, but I think we'll be alright. Melt a gun dudes kind of redirect. This side is a little bit weaker now, but I wasn't expecting them to go full on left hand side. Obviously, we can lose a VP and it's not really that big of a deal. It's just whoever has the most at the end wins. Oh, they also have a leader over there. Okay. Sort of makes you wonder when they're going to come in and get in on this thing. Oh, he's a squig rider. That's pretty cool. Well, that's going to be a shot and a miss. We're going to go ahead and get involved with him in just a moment. We're going to do something ill-advised. We're probably going to rush him on our turn. We are going to take reactionary fire. I do wish that they had jump jets so that I could just jump over there and do a jump assault. Yeah, I figured as much. No, I want you guys in melee with him. Those are shooter boys, so they should be fairly squishy versus chain swords, methinks. Move you guys up to there. That's not going to be a shooting position, but from there, absolutely. Go ahead and put some bolter fire on them. Nice little crit right there, but Luck's not being a lady, unfortunately. They are still standing, which I had hoped they would be expunged by this point. You guys, set your firing arc in those directions in case they try any boo shit. Hunter pack. Let's try to avoid allowing them to get flanked. So those are all shooter boys right there. I do feel like I should be proactive here. But I'm a wee bit out of position for what I want to do. Melt a gun squad, I don't really care about. It's actually the flamer pack that strikes me as being the most useful in this situation. I'm going to move them up to there. We're going to set a reaction arc right there. These guys are going to advance to here. We'll set a reaction arc there. These two guys should be able to do cleanup on that side, no problem. We'll bring the Psyker up on this side, so that should it be required, we can heal this guy up, because I think on the next turn he's probably going to take a little bit of a whomping. On this side, Bolter Packs move to this side, and then give me an Overwatch right there. Bolter Pack move to there. Give me an Overwatch on that side. Just in case anything gnarly happens, we'll move them up to that cover. You know, that victory point is not feeling worth it to me. It really sincerely isn't. My suggestion would be such that we put him right here, and then we just have them overwatch, and I'll try to bring somebody over to reinforce before too long. More than likely, our little swift claw guys. I'll probably swing them back and through because they'll help out. On this side, we still have a group of bolters that are actually kind of... I don't see anything else on this side, so let's sweep. I think it would be tremendously useful to have these shooter boys out of the way by the next turn. Uh, because that very much weakens their position on this flank, which allows me to take this right here and hook it left. And just sweep as hard as I can. And I think that will give us a much better chance. Melt a gunner, bring it back over here. I'm going to spend some time working these guys back over into the left, I think. I think I'm dangerously overwhelmed on the left-hand side, and I was not expecting them to hit one side that hard. I, I suppose I probably should have been, but 
Oh, they're going to be able to get me from right there. I didn't even notice those Gretchens were right there. Shit on me. Okay. What we learned today is that Splattercat needs to be better at video games. Reaction arc. The big battle is going to take place over here. And I think this flame unit is going to be the big, big, big hinge that closes this door for the enemy and gets them the hell up out of the way. The smell of roasting green skin I think is going to be necessary. Does he have a bolter weapon? He does. Well, then you, sir, move to right there and give me a reaction arc on that side. There it is. That's what I like to see. The orcs are not like a shooty army. They're not real good at like unloading DACA. I mean, they're good at unloading it. They're just not good at placing the shots, I guess. That's what I would mention. Oh, we ate a crit right there. That's funsies. But as long as nobody dies, we're probably in okay shape. I'm going to try and rush them with attack units. There we go. That's what I like to see. Big ol' crit on that side. Oh, they're not going to be able to fire at me through the wall. That's fantastic. I'm really, really happy about that. Are we returning fire here? We are not returning fire. They've apparently got us outranged in some regard. I don't know what's happening right now. I can't see. <laughs> One HP. Okay. Okay. Wolf Priest Furlag is engaged in melee. That's one of those things that I was a little concerned about. Wow, they have really, really overwhelming numbers. Holy shit. That's concerning. We should be able to clear out a lot of the grots on this side pretty quickly, though. I think the Swift Claw will probably take it to him. All right, so with five turns remaining, it's time to get into the... What can he do right here? I mean, I think he's probably going to have to... Is that one of his actions? That's going to give him 50 HP back? Go ahead and run Spirit of the Wolf. But on this side, we've got the Crocius Arcanum. Yeah, give it to him. Oh, really? He parried and returned. That's not good. That's really, really bad. Oh, they got burners. Makes me kind of nervous about my options. Unload on them. We need them gone from this side. And if we can make it happen, we make it happen. Anything that hurts their morale over on that side is fine by me. What does that do? Bolter Tile Fire. Okay, I think it lets you destroy a cover or something. On this side, we're absolutely going to have to have somebody reroute. Shooter Boys should go down pretty quickly, but that leaves them kind of dangerously exposed. Yeah, I might consider sweeping somebody else across that way, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Reaction arc on that side. It's unfortunate that he's really not that good in melee combat. He's kind of a support unit through and through. A little bit of a bummer there, but I can live with it. In my opinion, Burna Boy's gotta go. So there it is, and then we'll use that to move them back into cover. We'll set their reaction arc for that side. This bolter pack might be left kind of dangerously. Oh, they've got knobs too. Shit on me. Get them with the twin link bolters on that side. See what kind of DACA we can unload. Cool. So that's all right. They've got Rust Gob on this side. You guys just kill off units. That's all that I care about. Just like kill units. There we go. So that unit's a kill. That gets them up and out of our faces for right now. 
I'm gonna move the melter guns over to here just because we've got stiff it's still infantry though that's the problem is that's still infantry on that side so I can't guarantee it's gonna be super worthwhile to do what we do wow I feel kind of outnumbered right now I'm feeling a little bit outflexed on but then again my deployment could have been better deployment could have been better Let's seize the initiative over here. Probably not going to be able to get a shot off from right there. Oh, you can. Good. Even better. Absolutely excellent. And then finish him off, please. So that now we've actually got something turned around and we're able to... At least attempt something over here. Go ahead and put rounds on those shooters. Big crit, so that's very, very nice. That's something that I would have been looking for. Unfortunately, no kills, which is a bit of a downer right there. Let's go ahead and set a reaction arc. These guys don't have anything left they can do. They don't have anything left they can do. These guys over here, we do have shooter boys on that side that... I would like them to die... That's for sure. Ah, it just wasn't enough. Just wasn't enough. Set a reaction arc over there. Those guys have a reaction arc set. Let me pan and scan through and make sure that everybody that's got their shit going on has got their shit done and taken care of. I'm seeing a whole lot of things up here that have uh, a bullet crossed out by the little Ghostbuster symbol. So I think we're pretty... Well, we'll see what happens. Definitely a lot less effective on that turn. Those knobs are going to have to eat some hits. Yeah, absolutely good enough. Ooh, he stuns us, huh? Second attack looked like it missed, though. I wonder if I get flanking actions. I'm going to try and bring my assault troops down and flank him from the front and the back. For the all father, we must go out, and upon eating our wolf MRIs, we must... Or MREs, MRI. Wolf MRI is what happens when you get headaches too frequently. Our wolf MREs. We will eat them, and then we'll strike them with wolf swords while wearing our wolf boots and our wolf pack packs. Yikes. They've just got so many units. I'm going to try and get them to flank him so he can kill off one of their uniques. My guess is that this game is designed to be pretty intense, though, from what I've seen so far. It seems like it's going to be a tough game. Still eating fire, and they didn't do a single reaction shot right there, either. Hmm. All right, so we're up. That's just my suggestion right there, is just to use as much flame fire from the back. Wolf flame. You must consume them with wolf flame from the backside and just try to keep them... Okay, so the knobs are shaking. see how we can help out right there because they got even more knobs coming through and that's usually a pretty bad sign. I'm going to say to move you guys to right there. Let's put a little bit of weight on those slug and knobs. Just a little bit of oomph on them. And then we'll keep a firing line right there. You guys keep working on those shooters. You guys, into melee. Do your thing. We, like, really, really, really have to take this side. So we'll get the two melee units in right here. 
they should be fairly well overwhelmed, but orcs actually really, really shine when they're in melee, so... And it's not just because they're phosphorescent, it's just they're pretty good at being in melee. I would throw a healing bomb on them real fast just to hope that they stand a little bit longer. Yeah, I just put rounds upside that guy's head, I guess. I don't really know what else to say about it. On this side, I would suggest that we sweep and consume. This unit being stunned, how does that affect shit? Okay. It affects shit in a way that I don't like. Well, screw it. Flanking! There we go. That was a pretty good hit. I need to get another Twin Link Blast off on him, though. They're not that hurt. They would have been if they had ate that second hit. But for now, in a bit of a precarious situation, I, I think we're going to have trouble... We're probably going to have trouble rectifying some of the things going on. I think they're going to need backup over on this side. If we had Devastator Marines, I'd feel a little bit better about this because this side probably could have been held by one Devastator group with Overwatch and just suppression fire. Ah, oh, well. My name is Splattercat. This is Warhammer 40K Sanctus Reach. I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for stopping on in. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow. Farewell, everyone, and howl with the power of the All-Father.